I've been hesitant to talk about this at all. There's been so much speculation on other YouTube channels. And here is where the video became entirely unusable, but didn't want you to miss out on Chad's rambling and yet somehow genius philosophy. And therefore, we have decided to just take you on a coke ride with us so you could hear what he thinks. Um, not for nothing, you know, something to back it up. So this isn't a knock on other channels. But during the webinar, the live webinar, uh, not too long ago from Aptera, there was some mention of the drivetrain being fully sourced and uh, fully engineered. And a lot of us thought, what does that mean? Because we were told two years ago it's fully sourced and engineered. You know, it was the Alafe in-wheel motors, uh, and you're going to have torque factoring, you're going to have all kinds of special abilities with these that... Lots of benefits, potentially, to in-wheel motors. So that, then the speculation is, well, what does that mean? Is it not going to be a LAFE because their name has disappeared off from some of the uh, investment materials that show who the suppliers are? Uh, and then on Ontario Owners Club the other day, I saw that he'd found another supplier on the new list for U.S. Capital, and it, they, they have a, a regular motor, regular electric vehicle motor. Uh, so that leads us to think it's more like the design of the Nissan Leaf, what I usually drive. Now I'm in a BMW i3. But the Nissan Leaf has just one motor, sits in the front under the hood, just like a gas car, and then drive shafts to the wheels, and that's it. You know, nothing too fancy. So is that what it's going to be for Aptera is kind of what a lot of folks are thinking. I can't say. I don't have inside track. But I wanted to know what the community thought, so I ran a post, uh, a poll on our channel to say, hey, what do you think? Are you going to be disappointed if we don't have all-wheel drive with the launch edition. I say all-wheel drive because Chris Anthony in that webinar also said that eventually, well, why, not, it might not have been the word, forgive me if it's the wrong, wrong word, but indicated that we would need in-wheel motors to have the rear wheel run. Because if not, now you've got to run a belt to that thing or a um, chain to that thing, kind of like a Polaris you know, a Polaris three-wheel vehicle that runs that back wheel off a chain or a belt. Or you can have a shaft that bolts onto that back wheel like the BMW motorcycles use. Uh, you know, there's other drive shaft motorcycles too. There's ways to do it. Uh, but it seemed like that rear wheel was going to wait until in-wheel motors. And it's feeling like, and I can't say it, just, you know, for sure, that we're not going to have in-wheel motors at the launch edition. So I want to know how you felt about it because you're the ones that matter and the poll shows so far with quite a few responses that about more of you are disappointed if we don't get an all-wheel drive launch edition than are not disappointed. And some of the comments, quite frankly, were, were pretty insightful. I, I really appreciate it. Like this, this uh, gentleman here or lady here, this person here uh, mentioned that you, know, that you can't justify a higher price when you go from a three motor all wheel drive system to a one motor, perhaps two wheel drive system. Uh, you know, he said it more eloquently than that, but the point being, you're gonna give us one motor instead of three, and now we're looking at $39.99 instead of $36,000. I think that's a valid point. I think uh, in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong, but it seems like that's important to people. Now, many of us are gonna buy the Eptera as long as we can afford it. We're not going to decide whether or not we think it's a good deal or good economic sense. It's just a strange enough, new enough, exciting enough project, a company that's trying to do something legitimately changing the world with solar mobility. Uh, you know, they can't fix everything, but the solar mobility would be better than, than uh, pumping fuel or using electricity that's created by dirty means. So I get it. I want to be a part of that if I can. Uh, but I think it's fair to say that folks have the right to be a little upset and certainly a little disappointed if we don't get the launch edition we were told would, it would be, which was all-wheel drive, full solar, uh, you know, Aptera. That's what we told, we're told the launch edition would be. It looks like, and I don't know yet, we're going to find out soon, I think, from Aptera. We're supposed to be clarifying this in the July update, which we're almost out of July, guys. Uh, Aptera, if you're listening... Uh, let's see that because people are on edge here a little bit. And then I think of some people that invested minimally $10,000 to get one of the first 2,000 or so launch editions. You know, the 
uh, the leaderboard we had there for the accelerators. And they were told they were investing in a all-wheel drive Aptera within wheel motors. And now if that's not what's produced, I think it's okay to accept that some people can be and should be maybe disappointed. What my hope is for the company and for the community is that all of us recognize that changes are going to happen. We're not all going to like all the changes. None of us were happy when they said they weren't going to have DC fast charging and we're very happy they listened to the community and reversed that decision. Uh, but we still want to see this car made because it matters. It's going to be a piece of automobile, automobile history like we haven't seen since the Model T. This is a massive change, massive disruptor in the market. And it can lead to so many other really good things with the use of solar on vehicles. So we're, we're looking forward to it. I hope we can all hang in there and stick with it. Every right to be dis, dis, uh, dis, discouraged or disappointed or upset. Have every right to cancel your reservation and walk away. Of course, you know, it's... Uh, but I don't like seeing the poll numbers, 44% or so not happy, 41% uh, or something like that at the time of recording. Uh, we're, we're not disappointed, and there's a few that didn't care, and a whole bunch that uh, put their feelings in the comments. So when you think about alienating half of your your audience, or I think it's fair with Aptera to say fan base, or certainly alienating your supporters by making a decision that uh, is disappointing, that's a tough deal. It's a tough way to start a company. I think though, and again, this will all bear out when they give the update, we'll know more about it. I think, this is just Chad's thoughts, just what's in the old brain here, this doesn't don't take this to the bank. Uh, but I think <laughs> we will get in wheel motors, if not at the launch, uh, soon after the launch with the next edition of the vehicle. And then some may choose just to wait for that, if, th if that's the case. And again, another thing I thought, and, and let me know in the comments if this makes sense. <laughs> when the decision was to go with CPC and, and that type of molding process, as opposed to molding it themselves, you know, one layer at a time, the, the body. That took time, that put some time on the clock, and it slowed down, I think, and it seemed like it slowed down us getting our Aptera, but at the end of the day, it's a much better product. So would you rather that they say, okay, we're gonna wait until we can source the right in-wheel motors that do the right thing, and if the, the technology's not ready, we're gonna wait for the technology to be ready? and it slows down our Aptera another two years. Are you okay with that? Um, I'm not okay with that myself. I would rather them make a pivot to get the car on the road. And I can tell you this, going back to the Nissan Leaf, I have no problems with the drivetrain on my Nissan Leaf. It's fantastic. It handles great. It's good, decent acceleration, probably the slowest acceleration for a modern EV, but that's okay for me because I'm I move kind of slow these days anyway. Uh, Aptera will be quicker than that for sure just because of the weight reduction alone uh, but uh, I'm not okay waiting I want it now uh, the only thing that can make me not buy an Aptera is if they put a gasoline engine in it then it's off my radar completely anything other than that I'm on board if I have the money when it's available to me I'm buying it and that's it uh, anyway thank you so much for your comments thanks for participating in the poll uh, thank you for sharing your concerns. Thank you for being honest. Uh, if you're ups upset, if you're upset's not the right word. Um, if you're dis dis disappointed, thank you for being honest. It's easy to become a fan and just say everything they do is great. Every single thing they do is perfect all the time. And But that's not true. It's not honest. It's not realistic. And quite frankly, it's a little silly. Um, but it is good to be positive. Thank you for watching the Positively Charged EV channel where I am positively getting passed by everybody because I do the speed limit. Unless it's dangerous to do so, I suppose. But uh, these folks, they be, they're be speeders. they got some speeders in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Thanks for the members of the club, or the club, members of the channel. You keep the wheels turning on the Positively Charged EV channel. Thank you for the mug club. You mugs bought mugs. You went to Driven by Solar com where we sell t-shirts and mugs and whatever else Sarah has in her mind to
create and sell. It's there. You supported us and we appreciate you. And your money will not go to waste. It'll carry us to San Diego before too much longer when there's something to actually see there. And that's it. I'm out of here. Bye.